Welcome to the seventh race of the season here at Nashville Fairgrounds. Timothy Ingham and Chris Kyle starting up front for tonight's race. About to get the command in about a couple seconds. More than a couple seconds. So we'll just wait for that. All right, here it is. Without further ado, let's get this race started. Drivers, start your engines. All right, here we go. And trouble with the 96. Stalled. Nice, nice close up of these cars right here. Fish car is any in. Here we go. And there it is. Green flag is out. Here we go. Sound like a slow start. And look at this. The one bump and run already. And he takes the lead away from the 11. 24 trying to go through the middle. The 60 is in the way. Three wide for second. The one car is the leader. The 24 slides up right in front of the 11. Gets turned around. Turner gets collected. Caution is out. Race it back. Battle for the lead. The 60 and the 1. Oh my god, that's been crazy. Right at the start. Patrick Mew clears the 1. Looks like he'll get it. There it is. Caution is out. Caution is out. We'll have to go look at the replay. There were three wide for second. Sam tried to clear the 11. Wasn't quite clear right there. He slid up, got into the 11, put him in the wall, and he ended up going around. And Jesse Turner in the 48 gets into the back. He goes around 360. And that was it. No one else collected. And that's all to say about this one. All right, we'll take you back. All right, coming to the green. The 96 didn't even start the race. He's out of it. Uh, already out of it. Did not score points. That's going to hit him hard in the point standings. He's only leading it by seven. Base car is in. Here we go. The 60. The one in the 48. I don't know if that damage on the 40 is going to slow him down. Big contact when he got into the 24. Here we go. Green flags out. Back in the way. And look at that. One car trying to take the lead back. Rise to 60 up the track. That worked. He'll lead that one. 48. Surprisingly, is still in third. Looks like that damage did not affect him at all. Doesn't look like it. Maybe a little bit, I don't know. But he's doing everything he can to hang on to third. I think the caution is out. Yeah, it is. Just saw the uh, pit road flagman just took out the red. Caution is out. Matt Delio, only one car is the leader. We'll take him to the lead. Ryan Needham in the 16. He was 15th when he crossed the line. And looks like the 123 got into the back, coming off turn four, and dumped him on the front stretch. Didn't hit the wall or anything, doesn't look like. Went right around and kept on going, but expect some uh, expect some payback later on if the 16 were to catch him. If not, most likely the next race he'll try to get him, or he, at least he'll confront him at the end of this one. We'll take you back. All right, coming to the green, Matt Delio. 
the leader. He's already scored a win. So it's the 60. 48 turner fall the fifth. He's still in the top five though. 49 is in third. Sitting last on points, but he's doing pretty well so far. Sam McMillan who got caught up in the first caution. He's in fourth. So the turner, he's fifth. Alright, here we go. Green flag. Ten to go, and here comes a sixty. Wow. He just dove it in there. He takes the lead back at the 49th, and it takes second, and that there it is. Yellow flag is out again. Big crash. This does not look good. Patrick New will lead. Andrew Rich moves up to second. The one is in third. Alright, let's take a look at the replay. So once they drop the green, the 43. And the 123 made contact, and wow, the 123 dumps another driver, but this time he didn't get away with it. And wow, both cars upside down. But it looks like the 123 went over a couple more, but he kept on going, surprisingly. But the 43, unable to move, he's done. So the 123, he's done as well. But he'll drive it back to pit road. He knocks the 43 out, but. They just couldn't control their car once they slid up the tracetrack. Wow. That was crazy. So there's your third yellow. We'll take you back. And restart with four to go. With 18 cars remaining. Three of them out. Patrick Mew, the 60. Going for his second win of the season. The 49 going for his first. Dalio going for his first. The second as well. 24 first and 11 first as well. Let's see who's going to get it. Hopefully we end under green. I hope so. We did have a few green flag laps. I don't think we can though. Here we go. Come to the green. Will it be? Who will win this? Green flag's out. Here we go. And a good restart for the 49. And he quickly jumps to the inside. He'll take the lead away from the 60. Look at the 24 pushing his way through. The 4 and the 11 making contact. Both cars slide up. Racetrack, whoa, contact. The 49, the new leader. The 24 working his way up. He's up the third. Close call right there. Four, um, no, three to go. Why am I going to say four for some reason? And oh, the lights are off. Yellow is out. Caution, this is it. This is for the victory. Mew to the inside. Can he get it? Rich slides up the racetrack and looks like the 60 car will take it with two laps to go left at Nashville Fairgrounds. Another race ending under yellow. 24 almost got second. Damn. We're so close again. We'll take a look at the replay. Take a look here. Watch it. The 21 runs in the back of the 6 and hooks the 32. Patrick Coburn. <sighs> why? Just why? 16 did a good job avoiding that one. 17 rides the wall. Kind of. But we were so close again. While well, Patrick Mew, he will get his second of the season. So, yeah, we're not going to have a new winner tonight. So, yeah. We'll uh, show you the four race results. Race is over. So, Mew, Rich, McMillan, Dalio, Dalio, Dee, Stalling, Johnson, Johnson, and Rogers are top 10. 18 cars finished the race, three of them did not. We'll now take it to victory lane.